everybody thank you for coming back to the channel uh, what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna go over my two vehicles the IS 300 and the F30 and I'm gonna go over and just explain what I'm looking to do in the near future with these cars um, and what I'm looking to replace we're gonna start off with the IS 300 it is a 2001 and it's an automatic obviously we are on these stock wheels uh, what I'm trying to do is I'm gonna try and get some uh, some use, use coilovers because this is not really a car I, I want to make it to a show car. This is mostly my winter beater. Uh, I use this car more often in the winter because obviously these uh, New England winters with the heavy salt on the roads, they do do a lot of damage as you can see. These quarter panels are already starting to rust. Um, I do plan on cutting these and putting some uh, some nice over fenders, a wide body kit on it. Um, I don't know yet. You do need to get the uh, some coilovers and some wheels on this at least minimum. Next, what I want to do is you guys see this car is uh, uh what I do want to put in it is get a used transmission off a manual uh, Lexus IS 300 and do the whole clutch pedal swap manual transmission in there. Um, I do need to replace some body panels on here, so like as you can see, there is. A very large gap on there. Do plan on getting a like uh, replacing this front bumper and with the new bumper we're putting a new lip kit on there. I do have these side skirts. I do plan on keeping those and I would like to get a rear lip for the rear bumper. All right. So that's mostly it. Everything I want to do with this uh, IS 300. Like I said, this is mostly just a winter beater car. Um, don't plan on you know putting any kind of rush on this car just because it is a daily. If I crash it, I don't care. If it gets crashed, I don't care. Uh, any suggestions, any comments you guys have, please uh, just you know comment below. And I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you. All right, how's it going, everybody? This is me, Ernesto from the future, uh, editing the videos. Um, I did forget to put one part in. Uh, for the Lexus IS 300. Um, I do currently have some parts uh, stashed away um, waiting to be put on. Uh, I am going to wait until more the spring time comes around to put these parts on. Um, it's way too cold right now. So the parts I have for this car is I have a mission motor radiator and have a big brake kit from off a Lexus IS uh, LS 400. Um, and as you guys know, those brakes are much bigger than the ones on the Lexus that come on the Lexus IS 300. Um, I do plan on making a video on restoring those calipers um, and installing them onto the IS 300. I'm just waiting for a couple more parts for, like the RCAs and the uh, thread adapters for this car. But wait for that video soon. What we're doing today is ever since I fixed the car, and I got it back on the road. I was always been having this check engine light on here. Uh, code scanner. Uh, I got the codes, and it was a P0174, and that's for is running too lean. And what running too lean is when you have too much air coming inside the engine after the mass flow air sensor, and the engine doesn't compensate for that air. Now what it does is it doesn't give the the engine enough gas, which in theory makes your car misfire, hesitate. I uh, feel like it's bogging down when almost it feels like it's going to die out uh, when you're driving and hitting on the accelerator pedal. Um, and what I found it to be was repair the, the valve covers. And what it was that you see this, uh, that is called a PCV valve. Uh, that is a positive uh, crankcase ventilation. Uh, takes air from your intake on the side of the engine uh, and it looks like when I repaired the valve cover gaskets I lost one of the PCB valves and it looks like uh, that was the cause of my issue of the hesitation and the misfiring codes. Uh, so what I did was temporarily I just put a bolt on there with the gasket but as you can see here this is what the PCB valve looks like this is the replacement the new one and you put that right on there, face it this way, and you connect a piece of hose from this side over here all the way to the bottom right here. Everybody. Uh, so now the next video I'm gonna do is just a uh, you know a run around of the F30 I have. So here is a 2014 uh, F30 uh, with the red leather interior. 
Uh, I left my key inside so I can't open it. But just real quick with everything what I've done to the car. Um, get a full uh, body panel, M Sport conversion, rear bumper, side skirts, and front bumper. Uh, the car is currently lowered on KW V2 uh, suspension. Um, but with this car, I mostly just want to keep it stock. Um, well, stock ish, like an OEM Plus. Don't want to do too much to it. Um, so it just currently has the. Uh, the M side mirrors and the M rear spoiler. All right. So that's pretty much it. Everything I wanted to do to the F30. I like it how it sits. Um, so the plan is just to get a front lip for the front and repair this damage that it did acquire while it was parked um, and some wheels. And that's pretty much everything I want to do to the car um, and probably some tits as well later on during the spring. So yeah, basically, um, everyone always asks me basically, oh, why did you sell the bags or why did you unbag the car? Um, reasoning behind that was, you know, um, not that I wanted to, um, but I was really tied up on getting the Acura TLX. That was, you know, one of my dream cars. You know, for me, people have other dreams, I guess, but no, that was the car I wanted. Um, so I know I saw an opportunity to get it. So I did, I just sold everything. I was like, nah, I'm just completely done. So I sold it, um, and then I got the TLX, kind of just put this one away. Finally, you know, now that I have the Acura TLX, I mean, I can build a car, this car comfortably, however I want it. Um, after I do all the cosmetic things, because speed is not really a concern for me, um, I am gonna either supercharge it or turbo it. Um, this car, literally, I heard from forums and stuff that the supercharged handles better with these vehicles, so I'm not completely sure. Um, but I am gonna do one or the other. Uh, Agnum the SI, static in the TLX, supercharged or turboed while having a clean car, but I don't really care about speed. If you know me, uh, I get in trouble with the law. Uh, I have far, by far out of all my friends, the worst record. On my third strike right now, I think I have to take one more chronic offender class. And after that, I cannot have a license. As you can see, I do make stupid decisions. So, I mean, I have no one to blame but myself. I do everything I do to this car, I will be recording it. I do plan on getting exhaust also. So stay tuned for that. It's a great car. There's a reason why I will not sell it. I get a lot of offers on it, you know, cause people think that I'm just gonna get rid of it. But going on guys this right here is my 2013 Civic Asai uh, right now what I want to do is basically walk around my vehicle uh, I'm going to show you some pictures I had it before I'll uh, talk about what some things that I you know going to do to it kind of decided on some things um, so I got this car about a year ago you know, has a and this car used to be super clean well so I thought I mean, if you look closely, you have this right here. And how this happened basically is I don't encourage drunk driving, but I left the club one night and I actually hit one of the bartenders' car. You know, she didn't go through insurance or anything, but you know, that was a lesson learned after that day. I haven't really, you know, marks, which is kind of common on these cars. Uh, I'm not sure if mine was actually covered by a recall or not. Um, the car does have a lot of swirl marks too could be because it's black. I'm not sure if the person behind me before me actually took the brush or not. Um, I will be doing a paint job or a wrap, depending kind of what we want to do. Um, me and Vanessa are still trying to figure that out because he will be helping me. Um, let me see if I can do this real quick. So, I mean, as you can see here, I was branded also. Uh, this actually happened a few months after I got the car. And I, I mean, this car is not bad. It doesn't need that many things. Um, I was back before and I was on coils. Oh, this is what I was talking about. The feather line being completely gone. Um, 
I do plan on going back on bags. Um, I still haven't decided if I want to go back on airlift or if I want to go on a different brand. Um, you know, there's a lot of competitive. Airlift was by far the best. I want to try something new. Um, if you guys heard of Poppy Fly, he does have slimmer bags, which is something I'm aiming for. You know how these night turns run to a lot of exhaust problems with the bags, so that's something I am trying to avoid. Um, so yeah, I mean the front bumper, I could easily fix this with some body filler, um, you know, shave it down, but I still haven't decided what I'm going to do. Uh, I was thinking about getting a whole new bumper. I want UAE, but it's so hard to find OEM. Um, but yeah, I mean this part's pretty lit. Who um, eats? I wish I could really set it up, but I'm at work right now. I'm just doing a quick video because it's so beautiful out. Um, so this car literally, if I show you this, you're going to be like, what the hell? It does have 170K on it. A lot of people are surprised once they see it. Um, reasoning behind that is because it is a lot of miles for this vehicle, saying it's only in 2013, but I did get it for a steal. Locked. Yeah, I mean, uh, what I do plan on doing to this car is I definitely do plan on bagging it again. That's for definite. I do not want to go static. I do want to go static on the Um mm, Definitely a new rear bumper. Um, I do have to fix all my uh, end links, sway bar links. 